That's a wallet. Oh my God. That's a gold bar. Two guns in this box. That's the real ammo. Ooh. Whoa, there's jewelry and coins in there. We are back at this $1,000 insane storage unit owned by somebody that had seven businesses. And you can tell by the title of this video, we have some crazy stuff to tell you about this one that we'll get into in just a second. We've already released six parts. Make sure you check them all out first. Let's see what we can find this time. So I'll explain the story in just a second, but first, we just opened up this box here because it said Crystal China on it, and I figured it was gonna be Crystal in China, but from here to here, what would you say, three feet tall, literally all wrapped up, nice crystal. Listen to the flick, listen. That was good, right? You hear that? Ooh, that means crystal. <laughs> Even at a dollar a piece, that's at least a $40, $50 box right there. This box is marked office. Last time we found one like this, this is what actually had the safe in it that had the money in it. So these get me excited. Right after we see what's in this one, I'll explain the whole story what's going on with the previous owner. So it's, it's kind of funny in a way, but maybe kind of messed up, but I think it's funny because maybe I messed up. This said office, freeze. Whoa. I'll glue you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two guns. <gasps> Two guns in this box. Wild. If you glue Whoa. me, I'll be stuck to you. What's this? Ha. <laughs> ha. What's in here? Is that another glue gun? Do we have three guns? Oh. Oh. Three guns. <laughs> this person was armed and ready for the zombie apocalypse. There's all the ammo right here. Look. All that ammo. I think it's just a 308, 12 gauge. Oh, there's some 556 in there. Man, this guy was ready. Woo fabric what else do we have in this office box what's in here what does that say oh wireless keyboard is that what it is that is what it is and it's actually still in its original plastic so a wireless keyboard here's that little thing all the offices have sit in there put your papers in if you don't believe in the internet let's see what is that guy wellness what this is like a doctor thing isn't it what are these all those that's all the pharmacy papers wow all right is there a reason to keep all that because I, I just don't see one. What do you think's in here? Uh, more crafting stuff? Is it? Yeah, there's some needles and wow, there's a lot of these. What are those? I think they're crocheting. All right, a whole bunch of crochet stuff. Crochet hooks. Hey. Oh, never in there. Never in there. <laughs> ever. Any ever, blue can that's ever. Never. There's nothing in there. Never cookies in there. There's always something else. This is all medical right here. Yeah, we don't want to look at medical stuff. This right here. That's the real ammo. Let's see, where is it? Hmm, that's heavy metal too. What are all these? Bolts and one pair of pliers? Right. What, what, is, what room in the office did this go to exactly? Like what, what was this bag or box for? More soap and stuff? You know, it's marked office, but like it's so random. Do we finally have a laptop? No, what is this? Bible. Is it? Yeah, look, there's a cross on the front of it. You know, we still have yet to find a computer in this unit, which is weird. It's one of the things you usually almost always find on the laptop. Ooh. Whoa, there's jewelry and coins in there. Let me set it right here. <laughs> Open. Look at all that. What's this guy right here? Doesn't say. I see a little marking on the back of that. What does that say? Paris? And on the back it says SAP and HP 21. What do those say? Pierced earrings. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Penny Chuck E. Cheese token. Yes, before they moved to the cards. From 1999. Hey, look at that Seiko. That's pretty. That is really nice. Yep. Uh, let's see. More earrings. Another watch right here. What is that one right there? Citizen. To add to our already collection of I think we got like 40 watches or so in this unit so far. This is another Seiko. You know what? It's funny to call them Psycho. It's a Psycho watch. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> See, it's Psycho. <laughs> There's a little multi-tool. Here's another watch right there. That's a pretty one. Let's see. Some of these little lockets and stuff could end up being gold too. So definitely something we're going to have to look at once we get home. Anything else interesting in here? This. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what's in there. This right here, is this a wallet? Yes. That's a wallet. Ooh, there's cards in it actually. It looks like it was actually used. Hold on, let's see. 
insurance card what is this one bank card we need gift cards bank card bank card that was a business card actually but still a bank card come on we need gift cards that's where the fun's at or cash cash too but you usually find gift cards you don't usually find cash it's very rare uh, and I'm not seeing I'm seeing more bank cards maybe in this little center pocket here nothing nothing come on there's got to be something in what's that no oh is it gonna be in here don't say no is it yes all right good <laughs> no it's not well, you have another wallet maybe let's see this one says the collection nope eh, nothing in there no collection of money avoid verbal orders all right they should create something like this but it's like I don't know, it's, it's almost like it's digital. It could be like a mailing system for the internet where we could all mail each other and we don't have to waste paper and we can keep it millions of emails on a thing this big. Wouldn't that be a cool invention? We could call it email. That'd be amazing, amazing. Yeah, but all the rest of it's in here. It's just this guy. Now let me tell you about these crazy people. So you probably saw the title of the video and you're wondering what the heck's going on here. So let me try to explain it to you before we get into the very next box. So we went to the office because we're not going to be renting this another month. We had to make sure we set it up and canceled before it renews again in the middle of October. And we asked the people, because you remember last time they asked for their stuff back and they wanted to buy the unit back. We told them no. I was trying to be nice about it. I was basically asking, is are they the kind of people that we would be able to give our information to and not have to worry about being murdered in their sleep type thing? And they recommended against it. So I was wondering what happened. Check this out. These people thought they found a loophole so what they did was set up the storage unit in their business's name so the storage unit was set up in an LLC their name right but then they paid for their through their name so basically in their head this is what their thought process is stupid so think about it they thought if they default on the payment then they can't take it because it's not in their name it's in the LLC and they literally tried to take the facility to court over them auctioning their stuff out of course it didn't go nowhere because you signed it. Yeah, it's not a loophole. That'd be amazing if it was, but it's not a loophole. They tried to sue this place because they didn't pay their bills. Imagine that. I didn't pay my bills. I'm suing you. The logic, it's just not there. This one right here just says living room fragile. So most of the fragile we found, by the way, I forgot to mention, you saw that box of pull out of all crystal. There's three of them up there. Three boxes that are completely full, full of crystal, at least 40 a piece. So let's look inside this fragile living room box. Because what's really fragile in a living room? Not much. I mean, people have random stuff. Probably like yeah. figurines, maybe. Maybe. Whoa, look at that book. <laughs> is that a photo album? That is a photo album. So we'll make sure these crazy people get that back before we get our house burned down. Let's look in one of these to just get an idea. It might actually be pictures. Yeah, look, why is that wrapped up? Like, why is this wrapped up? Know. Is that gonna get broken? You broke my paper. <laughs> um, so these might all very well legitimately be pictures. I'm gonna open this one. If this is a picture, I'm gonna assume they're all pictures, really. But let's see. That's, it's a frame, but it's a broken. It could still go on the wall. It's not gonna affect it hanging on the wall. So it looks like it's going to be a big box mixed of pictures and picture frames. There's actually a box in there though. You see that? Look right here. I just noticed it as I leaned back. Right here. Open it right here. Where the knife like, go? I don't even know where it went. There you go. Um, what's in this box? Is this more of the same? Let's get into this one really quick. It looks like it's going to be another frame. Two DVDs. White Chicken Prevention Fitness. Like, why did you wrap this up? You think this is gonna break? More importantly, did you think the paper pictures were gonna break? Like, oh, my picture cracked. No, <laughs> this is weird. What's in this tote is gonna blow your mind because you have no idea what it is, right? There, You have no idea what's inside this tote. Nope. No idea at all. Let's open it. Oh my gosh, it's thread. How would we have ever known? Or thread, I think it's yarn technically. Everybody keeps getting mad at me in the comments saying, it's yarn, not thread. Eh, it's the same stuff to me. That's a lot of it. So that literally this whole tote here is just more thread. Thread. <laughs> Let's go in this little bl smaller blue tote right here. Let's see. It's just like all pillowcases. Well, last time we found a bunch of pillowcases, everyone told me a lot of people use them in crafting. So I guess this makes sense. What's all this stuff down here? A bunch of hand sanitizer, a bunch of toothpaste and toothbrushes. Just a bunch of bathroom stuff, huh? It's like all blue though. Yeah, it is. Every single thing in here is new. 
Hand sanitizer, look. Car mix. Hey, Bruce. That's my deodorant I use. <laughs> cool. Um, OxyClean. More wipes. Literally, everything in here is brand spanking new. It's literally all brand new stuff. Again, you just gotta wonder why. Why was it in there? I just, I don't understand what their idea was. So I just opened this box up. It said kitchen stuff in it. We got some bags here that are like almost new. This thing, what is that thing? Salt and pepper oh, grinder. Giant salt and pepper grinder. Okay. Grinder. This looks like a, I don't know, like almost like a, just a basket. I don't understand how, I don't think that's used in the kitchen. That looks like more something you'd set on your dining room table with a bunch of stuff in it. Maybe your kitchen counter, I don't know. This got something wrapped up in it. Ooh, what do you think it is? That. I taste this. Put this in your kitchen, right? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> There's some actual food. What are these little brown boxes down here? Hmm, what do you think it is? It says something on the front too. Yeah, but reading's for squares. We're gonna open it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see, get out. What do you need to see? This is a video, not a book. Uh, a it's scale. a kitchen scale. There's ki they're all kitchen scales. We have four of them. Four all kitchen right. scales, all right. All of this stuff, by the way, is gonna be at our $1 yard sale. There's another one. What's in this yellow thing here? What is that? A Christmas bow, that looks delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> it just came off, that was actually new. Just pulled it off. And yeah, this is a big jar. And is that cornflakes? Yes, it is. Who's hungry for cornflakes? Let's bring this big unmarked box right here to the truck and see what we got in the unmarked box. Before I cut it open, guys, do us that big favor and leave this video a thumbs up and hit that share button for us. Our $1 yard sales, what we do at Christmas, you guys are funding it. The more you support our videos, the more we are able to do it every single year. So please, two seconds, just hit those buttons for us. Let's see what's in the unmarked box that I'm pretty sure I just opened upside down, but it's okay, right? Right. All right, let's hope. And it looks like it's gonna be more kitchen, maybe. What is this thing? Ooh, just a big old flower pot. Yeah, big old flower pot. Yeah, maybe we should open this one the right way. <laughs> Did it have anything in it or just no. another pot? There's another pot in there. The pot of pot. A couple coats. And a king the rest of the whole box is a king bed set. Like a blanket sheet and everything in there. So jackets, two flower pots, and a king bed set. So random. This box has night light on it. Jeez, I feel like I was about to say this is the heaviest night light ever. Then I'm like, I feel like I've said those exact same words with another box that was super heavy labeled night light in the past in this unit. So I don't even remember what was in there. No idea, I don't remember. Me neither. There's been a lot. This unit's been a lot of stuff, but it's been cool stuff. Um, let's see where this night light is. Here it is. Look how bright it is, you see? Wow, that'll really keep me safe at night. It'll keep all the monsters out. Maybe even the boogeyman. <laughs> this has got something in it. Let's see what that is. A little bear. A bear. If it's from the Dollar Tree, it's from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree collection. So we have some more baskets. Every time we have a yard sale, legitimately, we have at least three people that ask if we have any baskets. I don't know what everyone uses them for. I'm kind of curious, but they always want our baskets. Let's see what else is down here. Uh, just a giant blue piece of wood, because why not? I want to see what's in this. Oh, that's not even a box. This is just a. Hey. hey. That's cool. Brandon might be happy. He might maybe. Look know. at that. I don't know what it is. It's dolphins. That's pretty cool. All right. What else is in there? Anything? Just another one right here. Oh, they're all different ones. Oh, what's what's this? So this one's a bear. Look. Cherish. Dan, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Let's set that one aside. I think there's one more in there, isn't there? Yeah. What's this last one here? What is that? What is this, a heat gun? Electric air pump, never mind. Let's see what this last guy is right here. Uh, it's another, it's like a Barbie one, look. So I guess that's something they make and this lights up right here. So it's a little, it's a night light, I guess. It's just one of the products they made themselves because they did a lot of crafting. Anything else in this box? No. Um, one more. There's one more. Beanie baby. Uh, that one's stuck, but you can see it. I'm assuming these bears went to it because it's all black, but four of those little night lights would all be at the yard sale. So let's get into these two little totes hidden behind all those boxes. It looks like some cool crafty type stuff. 
Let's see if that's the case, or maybe there's some gold in there. Maybe there's a million bucks in there, you know, I never know. Maybe. Come maybe on, not. geez. Why do they put so much tape on it? Why? Uh oh, here we go. Ah, it's open. I wasn't about to go crazy and smash it. Yeah. What made you think that? Right? I don't do stuff like that. When you're like, okay, and then you yep. just grab yeah. it. You know when you start negotiating with an inanimate object, you're done. You're like, okay, you got three seconds to open or I'm gonna break you. Like that thing's got feelings. Look at all the dogs. I remember this was on those other nightlight things that we found yeah, in another video. That's probably why they got these at the Dollar Tree because they glue them down and nobody can really see where they're from anyway. Like yeah. this is from the Dollar Tree as well. German Shepherd. The Shepherd. Look at all these guys. They were probably planning on making like dog themed night lamps like that, definitely. Cause look how many in there. And look at all this red skin stuff too. Ugh, gosh, just touching it. I just lost something. Lost something else again. Lost another one. But again, the positive is now that they had to change their name to Washington football team, the red skin stuff is coming collectible like really fast because well, you know, they can't sell it no more. So no telling what that could be worth in a couple of years. Let's open this one. Hopefully this one cooperates with whatever is in there. Oh, that was good. Little wooden elephant with his trunk down. Bad luck. Uh, what else do we have in here? A house phone. Ew, what is that? What is that? I don't know. Some, it's some white liquid. Baby gravy. <laughs> That's what it is. He's saving it for later. Well, what are all these? Paracord. Paracords. Huh, what is it? Parachute? Five, five, that's a parachute string? Really? Look hmm. how many different colors we have. We have a bunch of different colors of parachutes. That's something we haven't found yet. I wonder if it's used for something else or if it's legitimately used for parachutes. Why is it called parachute rope? I don't know. So this one says flower pots on it. Let's see if that's actually what it is. Oh my God, that's a gold bar. <gasps> Look. Whoa. <laughs> I just opened it. It just says the gold bar right there. That is quite literally a gold bar. Yeah, literally a gold bar. So don't go on in the comments saying, oh my God, this is that click bait. Because first of all, you're gonna get filtered out. Nobody's gonna see it. And second of all, it was a gold bar. You know, <laughs> let's see if this is actually a flower pot. If it, ugh, well, there's the dirt to it. Why did you wrap this up with dirt in it? Where is the logic in it? There's a lot of things with storage units that are just like logically don't make sense. So there's like seven or eight different pots in here. I'm just gonna tape this box up and load it on the truck. This box is labeled living room shelf too. So it can quite literally be anything they had on the shelf in their living room. That's the kind of randomness I like. Like this, this was definitely very well displayed. Vintage paper, mm, beautiful. This little metal thing with the heart on it. Live, laugh, love. Everyone's gotta have that in their house for some reason. I, I can't stand this thing. I think because everybody has it. There's speaker, that's nice. I wanna see what this bear is here. This is heavy, what's this guy? What is this, a CD player? Yeah. It might go to that speaker, it might be one system. There's the other one. There's the other speaker. There's the remote to it, so hey, there's a little system. Let's see what's in this one. I like that, I like that a lot. What is it? Oh. Really? Hmm. Really? <laughs> really? Is that what the other one is too? You know what, the thing is, these people, that this stuff we found so far, I can see this being on their living room shelf. Like, it, that doesn't surprise me. That looks like something they have on their shelf. Gosh, be normal like me. All, all normal grown adults have tons of Dragon Ball anime all over their house. That's normal, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Little light. Hmm, so this is interesting. It's like, literally everything I open has nothing to do with what I opened before. But usually it's all glass, all something. Oh, look at this. Two little bears on these old wooden boats. I wonder if there's dates or anything on them. They don't look new. Man, the sun just came out. He's like, I want to see. Let me look in the box too. Can you still see me good? Yeah. All right. Sometimes the sun causes more bad than good. More dogs from the Dollar Tree. So I guess they kept them in their house and they used them for crafting, I guess. Let's see what bear this is. I want to see the bear. Oh, he's still in his box. What is he? Sing and dance Teddy. <laughs> yeah, if I, I would press it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a copyrighted song. They'll get me in trouble. One more thing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see this one. If this is interesting, another one. If it's not, no. It's a wine glass. This is most definitely not interesting. Glass. Pfft. Let's put this box away. So this one just says crafting and I just cut it because I'm curious. It's, it has a rattle to it. 
So we have more thread, not yarn. Thread, thread. No, I'm just playing people. Ooh, want me to get this and scrape it against another no. piece? No. Why? Who does not love the sound of styrofoam being scraped together? It's one of life's beautiful. Either way, if you made it this far in the video, go down there and type a comment saying, this was beautiful, or that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I, did, I This is my new favorite thing to do on YouTube. I just like to go down there and read the comments to see which people I know actually watch it all the way through. I love it, so please do that. This brings me back nostalgia because this is what my grandparents did when I was a little at their house. They use these for storage for everything. They're good containers. They are. This is like wires. They got a wire one. Let's see what's in this one. Where's the money one? I don't know. It has to be a money one. More wires. Okay, they're all wires. I'm going to cry. This one. That doesn't sound like wires. Hair things. Hair all right, so it's random. It's random. We're going to have to open them all. This one's empty. Make sure. Yeah. All right. Ooh, what's in this one? This is the one. This is the one. Wire and a truck. <laughs> okay, this is like a grab box. Here's a mystery. What are you going to get? Let's see. You're going to get wires. Come All on. All right. We need a good one. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. There it is. There it is. Nope. Zipper. What are these? No, these are bracelets. Check that out. They're stainless steel, it says on the back, but there's Pull like quite a few bracelets in there. What? Pull it out. What? The bracelet? Yeah. It's like that. Look. Oh. Is there any different ones? No. There's like four or five of the same exact one in there. Oh, there's a little jewelry box. Now, look. That. Listen. What is it? Beads? Beads. Yep. Trolled me. You are correct. What do I win? I know what I win. Your beads. I win another coffee coat. <laughs> Yay! I win this one. Wires. Okay, one of these are going to be good. One of these are going to be good. This one, right here. Boom! Wire. It's one wire. Like, you could have combined some of these. Like, you have like one wire per tote. Well, this one's the heaviest one so far. What do you think it is? Heavy, Don't say heavy. wires. Rocks. Wires. Ah, gotcha. I saw your face behind the camera. You're like, no. And a wire. Well, that's the last one in there. So, oh, no, 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 one more. Bang! Okay, it's wires. There's one other kind of toad in here, too. No! Look at you making a mess. Sorry, I'm trying to help. <laughs> this is like those wraps you put on sprained ankle, things like that. Other than that, a couple more things of yarn, and that's all that's in this box. Just cut open another office box. Let's see what's in this one. Sweatpants, yeah. Oh my gosh, look. Sides of sweatpants. Whoa! Oh, two. Two, what? A white wee? And a red Wii. All right, two Nintendo Wiis. Can't complain about that. We found two PlayStation 2s too, remember? So like they like buying consoles and like duos or doubles. Whoa. Nothing's in there. What that? Spam. <sighs> Cards. <laughs> if something isn't a wire. If you just saw what I saw at the bottom of the box, you'd be happy too, but I'll show I you in a too. second. This is the wires, the power brick, the little the sensor, sensor bar. Good. Here's another power brick. So Good. literally both of them, both of them seem to have it. And I see the stand. And you see this? Yes. Steering wheels. Cool. And the stand. Cool. And look down there. <laughs> Whoa, all the games. Look how many games there are. Look at that. Look across. Random Destiny. But the Wii games, two games in one, Super Mario Brothers Wii, Mario games are good, another Super Mario Wii. They must have had two kids that didn't really get along because they have a lot of two of the same thing. <laughs> they probably had to get each of their own. Let me pull one out. I'm gonna pull out Super Mario Bros. If that's in there, I'm feeling good. And it's in there. Yay. So that's probably 25 video games or Wii games right there. And then this right here is like a boxing set, I'm guessing, because it's Everlast, so probably for a boxing game. And a couple more games on the side, so. That's what I call a good box. So this is kind of strange. Right down here in this hole right here, I pulled out, I thought it was just this, but this disgust, this smells like sweat really bad, but it was wrapping up this box. So now I'm genuinely curious, like this box was covered in that. So I have no idea what's in there. Well, but let's find out what's in the mystery it's box. It's kind of strange, right? Yes. Is, is it a box in a box? It's a box in a box. Info guard, Pyrus. Info guard, something, privacy matters. It's a freaking paper shredder. Well, that was very disappointing. When I saw Privacy Matters, my first thought was a safe, but no, just a paper shredder. This tote looks like it has literally like almost all brand new stuff in it. Let's see. So besides some manuals, 
these are laundry clothes pins brand new paint let's see more brand new pins look down here it's a mouse pad a bunch more jewelry and these look like little price tag things you find in like a store a stand where they put the prices in maybe that's my guess little miniature rubber bands there's a lot of crafting stuff down here look at that car okay. But look what I saw from the side. I want you to see what I saw. I don't want to take it all out because we're going to leave here in a minute. But look right here. You see what I'm seeing? Like all that new crafting stuff in there. Bands, paint, all kinds of stuff. It's full literally from bottom to top with brand new crafting stuff. Don't click off of this yet because I have something awesome to show you. So you guys know I have one major weakness when it comes to buying storage units. Well, two if you count Dragon Ball. The other one is safes. I'm addicted to safes, especially when they're gigantic, big, fat, lot century safes. They're really adrenaline pumping. So I want you to look at this storage unit right here that's on the screen. It's only a five by five, but just the stuff around it, the little laptop, the little pot leaf hats in the safe, that's just, that's vintage treasure anyway. Jeebus right there and I'm willing to go kind of ham on this unit so I just want to hear everyone's opinion how much would you pay for this storage unit because this auction is going to be over well before you see this video so I don't have to worry about no trolls coming to bid me up but if it goes off I think it's safe to say I'm probably going to win it unless they go stupid high so what would you bid on it it goes off tomorrow and I'll see you then let's see what it goes for Next morning, and apparently I'm not the only one in a gambling move because, well, this little 5x5 five five of the safe's up to $390. Look at it! Look at that! We're going to get it. We're going to get it. You know, I like to wait until there's about... If you bid in under three minutes, you're going to extend the clock. That's what dumb people do. So we like to do it right before that. Let's just go good luck. There's pot leaf hats in there, right? So the only logical bid is 420, right? But should I wait till it gets down to three minutes? Yeah. Mm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it exactly <laughs> four. Okay. Let's just do it. 420. Oh, we're the high bidder. Somebody went up to 400 though. Well guys, other people are in a gambling mood too. My high bid's 500, that's exactly what it's at right now. Remember, if somebody bids within with less than three minutes left, it's gonna add three minutes to the clock, but 20 seconds left, $500 is the top bid. I just love safes. Even though 99.9% .9 of them have nothing in them or have paper in them, there's just something about them that's so exhilarating. And I just, I haven't cracked one in a long time. Five, four, Three, two, one, end, end. Hold on, I'm refreshing it because I know how these sites are. Hold on. It's over. $500 for a safe. Let's go see what's in it. You guys are going to have to wait till next time to see it. Peace out.